There are many types of backfill material that can be used to successfully install HDPE pipe. As shown on the chart in the pocket installation guide, acceptable backfill materials are categorized into three classes. Class 1 backfill material consists of angular crushed stone. Class 1 backfill can achieve minimum compaction requirements by dumping the backfill into the trench and knifing the material under the haunch of the pipe. Class 2 backfill consists of gravel and gravel sand mixtures. Class 3 backfill consists of silty gravels or sands. Compaction is required for Class 2 and Class 3 materials. Refer to the pocket installation guide for further definition of Class 1, 2 and 3 materials, compaction requirements and maximum lift heights between compaction efforts. Other materials, including native soils not identified as Class 1, 2 or 3 materials, are generally not suitable as initial backfill materials. Regardless of the backfill used, it is always important to knife the backfill material under the haunch of the pipe to prevent voids. To help ensure even placement of backfill material around the pipe, dump the material directly on top of the pipe so it falls equally on each side of the pipe. This method will also keep the pipe from shifting during the backfill process. The most critical area of the backfill structure is the envelope surrounding the pipe system. The backfill material surrounding the pipe provides strength to the pipe soil system and in large part will determine how the pipe will perform. This envelope includes the bedding, the haunch area and initial backfill area. The initial backfill area extends to a minimum of six inches above the crown of the pipe. Only approved backfill material should be used in the bedding, haunch and initial backfill areas of the trench. Final backfill material can be alternative or native material with the approval of the designing engineer. Pipe systems through 48 inch diameters require a minimum 12 inches of cover above the pipe. 54 and 60 inch pipe systems require a minimum 24 inches of cover above the pipe. If construction equipment used in the trench area weighs more than 25 tons, additional minimum cover is required. For areas receiving heavy construction traffic between 30 and 60 tons, a minimum 3 feet of cover is required. Heavier equipment will require additional cover. If sufficient cover is not provided, mound and compact material over the pipe to provide the minimum cover needed during construction. We have addressed important issues surrounding the installation of HDPE pipe, including trench preparation, pipe and fitting assembly, and backfill procedures. The Pocket Installation Guide provides information on these topics and on many additional topics, such as job site handling and storage, connecting to other pipe types and structures, flotation prevention, parallel pipe installation, and maximum burial depth. Additional information about the proper installation of HDPE pipe is available through your local sales representative, our engineering department, and our website. Following the recommended procedures outlined in this video and in the pocket installation guide will ensure that you achieve quick, efficient, and successful installations of HDPE pipe. The benefits are clear, and we are confident you will enjoy installing this user-friendly product for many years to come.